Dear friends, welcome to my next video, how to check plagiarism with free online tools. Come, let's go to the video. To get more research related videos, please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Just go to, go, go to YouTube and type Professor Dr. Raj Shekran, you'll get my channel. You can subscribe and, uh, uh, and also please click the bell icon so that you will get the immediate notification when I post my next video. And I'll be happy to receive your comments and uh, I have given all my video links in the description box and you can go and check if you want, uh, you can make use of it. Okay, this is my YouTube homepage, you can go there and you will just click a subscribe button. Okay, in my knowledge, uh, I have uh, searched through a lot of uh, available free uh, tools for the plagiarism checking. And I have rated these things as the very, you uh, know, it's a user friendly and important one, Doobly Checker. PlagiarismCheck.org, check for plagiarism.net, plagiarism checker, plague tracker, plagiarisma, plagiarisma, unicheck. These are the uh, good tools, online uh, site uh, to check your plagiarism. Uh, these are the very important, but still, uh, in my opinion, the best user friendly uh, site is Dupli Checker. Just go to the duplichecker.com. And you will uh, you will be able to open that particular plagiarism uh, website. It's very very user friendly to use it. And before you feed your text, first you have to know these things uh, clearly. First one, know that this online tool will accept only ten thousand words per checking, and you can perform any number of checking within uh, ten thousand words per limit. Means so you can do a multiple checking. You know, but every checking you have to uh, you have to use within uh, ten thousand words only. And if you, in case you have so many pages of your papers or a thesis, you can you can do one thing, and you select the pages in, in a, such a way that up to ten thousand word limit you can select it, and then you paste it in the particular. Uh, you can feed the text, then you can get the report and you can download and save it. Then again you can go to the thing. So, but it's a time-consuming job. But if you want to do it free, and all the entire text should be converted into ten thousand words kind of thing. Convert means you need not break anything. Just to select, start and select up to 10,000 words, you can know the word counter in the, uh, if you go to the, in the word document, if you go to the review uh, icon, you can see the word count. And the, when the word count reaches 10,000 words, you can, probably you can better stop at 9,800 word in that way. Then you copy it and paste it in the, uh, you feed it into the software and it will give you the uh, plagiarism report. And uh, uh, very important thing, this will help you uh, uh, before you, in case you are submitting a paper to a journal or you are submitting a thesis to university, uh, before you go for the original, you know, official plagiarism checking, if you do this kind of free checking in the online, it will help, help you to uh, reduce the plagiarism as well as when you go and submit there, straight away it will come without any plagiarism report. And uh, uh, after feeding your text, you have to download the report to check if you have missed anything to cite. Because sometimes plagiarism may come when you uh, forgot to cite certain things also. So you can understand if you have missed anything, you can cite it. And the next important thing, if possible, and certain plagiarist material, in case you have forgotten, you have given as it is, but you have not given any citation. That time, make sure that you are paraphrasing that uh, plagiarist content then you are giving a proper citation and if you can't do anything just you have to remove that and the last important thing you should not rely on only one uh, software better check uh, two or more tools so that you will be able to compare and it will be very easy because when, when you go for a free software it may not sometime if you feel that it is not reliable you can cross verify to say you no know, checking in the two separate websites got it and this is how normally you feed the text. Just you go there, you are seeing that uh, just there will be an option. If you go to the doobly checker and it will say that feed the text. And if you go there here, it, it's there. Uh, sorry, I, I, I mistakenly told you that as a 10,000 words. It's not a 10,000 words, it's a 1,000 words per limit. I'm sorry, just to correct it. And uh, you can feed it. Then uh, there will be option which will come. You have to uh, just to give, you have to give a check plagiarism. Then after checking it, it may take maybe two to three minutes, uh, depend upon your internet speed. And if you have a rapid speed, it will come within a two, uh, one or two minutes. Then you check if this kind of result will come to you. And uh, it will tell you how many number of words, what are the results found, found in this thing. 
one is plagiarism and how many percentage is plagiarized how many percentage is unique content how many is related to the meaning all those report it will come and here after getting this report this is this will come immediately on the page and there will be another option to download the report also then you when you once once you download the report it will come like this for that plagiarism thing is similarity 25 percent that is one particular website you have taken bridging gap between cultures of teaching and other stuff the same journal in the same journal there is a one more thing uh, all these different sites the similarity comes in that way they are saying that uh, it is coming so once you click the url it, which comes in the results you will be able to exactly track where you have uh, plagiarized you know it will tell you where you have taken the particular source accordingly if you have forgotten to cite them you can cite otherwise you can remove otherwise you have you have to uh, paraphrase it and after downloading the results as a report what you are supposed to do you have to analyze and look for the improvements based on the report then you have to rewrite using the uh, paraphrasing and add add double quotation wherever necessary in case you have used exactly the same thing but you have not you have quote uh, you know you have forgotten to give the quotation just to quote then it will not be plagiarism then cite if you have uh, forgotten anything again after all the modification you have to go for the plagiarism second time that second time only will be you'll be able to verify whether your updation is taken and you have you, you have reduced the plagiarism and the very important thing please keep in keep in your mind that accepted plagiarism rate is less than 10 percent to a journal as well as to the phd thesis and uh, if anything goes more than uh, 10 percent definitely you need to reduce and then only you can you will be able to submit it otherwise they'll not accept your thesis or a, a, a journal paper and uh, the one more important thing there are there are some additional services available in the plagiarism software uh, that is you can rewrite there is one option called rewrite if you look at this thing look at there after feeding the document you can type you just if you give us a rewrite article it, it will the system automatically rewrites that given passage and it gives you and uh, before uh, rewriting you have to keep keep certain things in your mind it can help you only to set an extent not 100 percent it is not definitely the best one it will it will be an aid that's it there may be a lot of errors after the rewriting you have to check definitely manually if you don't if you forget to verify then you will end up with a lot of difficulty you know a lot of errors and uh, very importantly check for the grammatical errors also after rewriting than in the system itself so here it's what given the comparison of the original as well as a rewritten script which i have already done it so I have copied it from there and look at there. There are certain things that are really good if you look at this particular line. Here education, instead of education it has given us educational activity and then other things that the word other is replaced with alternative and these kind of things are good. But certain things uh, it will be entirely different so you have to you, line by line, word by word you have to check and only whether it gives a proper meaning and everything you can you confirm it. For example look at there. Here, American Sociological Association (ASA). Here it is changed into within the young social and it is entirely wrong. So you have to be very careful. This kind of blunder may happen in the rewriting. So you have to very so you can accept these alternate certain things like instead of other things you can say alternative things and certain things are fine. But you should not accept everything as it is. Then you will end up in a your original script will be better than the rewritten one. So you have to be very careful. So uh, after feeding to the rewriting, you can take certain things uh, like as I already told the alternate educational society and this kind of thing. But other thing you don't accept it. And if you use this, this will be a very handy tool to 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 set to, to, to certain extent will be really useful to you. This is the reference I have taken for this particular uh, all the uh, plagiarist tools. Thank you. I'll meet you in the next video. And uh, till then, bye bye.